Hi, did you ever wonder where paper products come from? Things like books or magazines, paper cups, paper towels, some really important things we like to have around the house. Paper is important. So hang with us and we'll explore the paper making process on this episode of Believe It or Not. Not all that long ago, paper was made from old cotton rags and other plant materials. It was expensive and time consuming to make and, you know, Georgia, for most people having paper was actually a luxury. Now that's right, Bill. You know, cultures throughout the world at some point or another have made paper from different kinds of products. Even a hundred years ago, American paper companies would hire people to go door to door to collect rags to make paper. That's right. And then the chemists and the manufacturers started looking for other materials to make paper, and they started looking at wood fiber. Wood is made up of three basic kinds of materials. Cellulose is what paper makers use because of the long fibers. Hemicellulose fibers are much shorter and also are used in most paper products. Then lignin is sort of the glue that holds everything together. It's not used in paper, but it is used for a lot of different chemicals. Trees harvested from the forest are trucked to a pulp and paper mill like this one here. Now sometimes trees are chipped in the forest and trucks deliver chips to a mill. Just look how these chip trucks are emptied. Holy cow, is that cool or what? Man, I sure hope that driver didn't leave his coffee mug in the cab. You see those chip piles over there? Under the pile, there's a hole that sucks in chips and they are moved into the pulp mill. Oh, and then logs that are delivered have to have their bark removed and then they get chipped. That happens inside the mill. So let's go take a look at that, okay? Yeah, so you can see how those logs are getting turned around in those big drums. That's how the bark gets removed. Bark is no good for paper making. So what happens to all the bark? There must be tons and tons of it. Yeah, but it's not wasted. It's burned to help provide energy. Cool. Shall we see what happens to all those wood chips? You bet. Let's go take a peek. There are a couple of different ways to cook the wood chips down to a soupy mixture called pulp. It kind of looks like a big pot of spitballs. Yeah, look at that. It looks kind of gross, Bill. Oh, uh, yeah, but take a look at this. The white pulp has been bleached. The brown pulp has not. Sometimes bright white paper is needed, and other products can use the brown pulp. Okay, so, Bill, what happens after all this pulp is made? How do we get paper from pulp? Oh, that's a really good question, Georgia. The pulp gets diluted with water, lots and lots of water, and then the juice is sprayed onto a fine screen, big screen. Oh yeah, you know, that's a really big machine. Look how far you can see. These giant machines remove the water and dry the huge sheet of paper. The process makes paper at very specific densities and thicknesses. A lot of math and engineering. Ooh, well. math and engineering. Mm -hmm. Well, at the end of the machine, the paper is rolled onto these Mongo winders. Each finished roll weighs many tons and needs to be moved using huge cranes. Yeah, sometimes the rolls are rewound after adding a coating. The coating allows the paper to be better used for ink. Finally, these huge rolls are cut to sizes that are wanted by different customers. Wow, take a look at all those robots. Wow, they wrap and label each of those smaller rolls. Finally, the rolls roll into a loading room where forklifts pick them up and drive them into a semi-truck. Wow, that kind of looks like stowing away something on a spaceship. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it, Georgia? Yeah, making paper involves a lot of technology, computers, robots, and engineering. So, that's how paper is made. 
It's amazing how people figured out how to use this process to make all of these different products that we rely on all the time. And as a forester, it's a great feeling to know that it's also good for the forest. That's amazing. Good. Indeed. Well then, join us on the next episode of Believe It or Not. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hi, I'm Bill. And I'm Georgia. And if you like these videos, click on that subscribe button. You can help us out. Yeah, and if you want to be notified when new episodes come out, just click the bell. Or if you've got some comments, suggestions for us, we'd love to read about them in the comments section. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Believe it or not.